Delhi Capitals head coach Ricky Ponting said that the team is yet to finalize a wicketkeeper for the 2023 edition of the Indian Premier League. Rishabh Pant won't be a part of the upcoming IPL after the freak accident he suffered at the Delhi Dehradun Highway a few weeks ago. Ponting admitted that Pant's absence has created a massive void in the DC team. Even as the Capitals named David Warner as their skipper for the IPL edition, they are yet to find an apt replacement for Pant. Well, of course it'll be missed. But he's, you know, he's one of the, the best players in the world. Um, you know, he's he's been he's been part of us for a long time. He's part of the the family at, at the Delhi Capitals. Um, he's our captain. He's sort of our spiritual leader. But there's there's more to it than that as well. Like he's he's obviously a great player, but he's he's just he's just a great person to have around your team. You know, he's he's highly energetic. Um, he loves the game. He loves re representing the Delhi Capitals and. Um, you know, he's a highly ambitious young man that um, has got the world at his feet still. So, you know, that's why it's, it's such a shame for us um, and for him, for him not to be a part of the IPL this season. But, you know, as I said, we'll do everything we can to include him as much as possible. Uh, you know, it's my job as coach to make sure that the other players are, are really understanding of, of how much he means to, to our franchise. And, um, and we'll try and do the best by him for the, for the summer. We haven't decided that yet. That's what, that's what the practice games are all about. Um, and that's obviously another a big hole that Rishab leaves. You know, even with the impact player rule that's coming into the IPL this year, there's lots of ways that you can think about using different players and, and wicket keepers and, and things. So, um, yeah, right now we've, we've had some guys with us on trial for the last... Um, we had a trial in Calcutta. Some of the keepers were there. We've had, a, you know, we've had training here for the last five or six days of those keepers have been a part of. So... We'll have a look at those guys in the practice games tomorrow and I think come either at the end of the game tomorrow or our second practice game will be the 28th, we'll, we'll actually know then which guy we're going to contract. Uh, look, hopefully we will see Rishab um, at the ground in the dugout. That's certainly my dream. My, my dream and my wish is to, to have him sitting right beside me in the dugout. You know, he's, I've got a very, very good relationship with Rishab. He's, he's not, apart from being, um, you know, someone that I've coached and our captain, um, I'd like to think that we're great friends. So, um, yeah, I'd love to have him sitting there. As I said, the logistics of that are probably not that simple, not that easy. Um, but if, if he's up to it and we can make it work, then I'd love to have him with us uh, every game. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he'll be joining us today. He's been at, up at the NCA for the last few weeks, um, recovering from that, from that fractured finger. Um, He'll hopefully join us today. We've we've got our first practice game tomorrow, which hopefully he will arrive today and be able to be part of that game tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think as a as a, a men's team, we'll be sending some uh, some videos through to the the women in the coming days, just to wish them all the best. But it, it's it. I think it makes us all really proud, you know, that to see a Delhi Capitals team in in an IPL final, you know, WPL final is and the level of cricket that they played through the this tournament has been outstanding and. Um, you know, their, their star players have really stood up and led the way and, and Meg's obviously done a great do job captaining the team and being the first team through to the final. So uh, it, it's, been, it's been great. I think, it, if anything, it, it sort of motivates and inspires us as a, as a men's team as well to see what the, the women have done over the last few weeks and gives us something to aspire to. So that's, um, that, it, that's, and it's also something that we'll speak about as a group. You know, if, if they happen to go on and win it, then there's extra motivation there for us as well. Excellent. He was vice captain last year. Um, obviously someone that's been at the franchise for a long time. We, what, what we want to do uh, at the Delhi Capitals is to make sure that we're rewarding the players that have been at the franchise for a long time. And obviously Aksha's one of the leading Indian players in the IPL. We've seen what sort of an impact he's had on one day international cricket and te even test cricket over the last few months for India. So once again, he's one of those guys you love having in your team. He's, he's a lot of fun around our, our group. He's a very, very good player. He's an experienced player now. Um, so I, I thought it was absolutely the right idea to make actually vice captain again. Uh, practice has been great. Yeah, we've we've used um, both of our venues. We've been at uh, at, at uh, Aaron Jaitley for the last few days. Um, as I said, we've got the di the guys have got a day off today. We 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 have trained really hard over the last five or six days. So we've given them a day today to freshen up, so they're ready to play the practice game tomorrow. We, you know, the practice games are really important for us going into this season because we've got a few new fresh faces that. With Rish, in Rish, Rishab's absence, there will be some opportunities created for some of these young guys that really put their hand up. So uh, it's a really exciting time. As, as a coach, to sit back and see some of these young guys and the young talent that we've got, um, and we'll see them on display uh, over the next few days, and whoever puts their hand up will we'll find them themselves playing in the first couple of games for us. 
Yeah, of, of course. I mean, we've got two world-class international players at the top of the order. And, you know, David Warner's been, a, you know, one of the, the leading performers in IPL history, uh, opening the batting. Uh, we've got Pritvi Shaw that'll open the batting with David Warner and, and Mitchell Marsh is most likely to bat at number three. But, and he did, as he did for us last season in the games that he played, he had some great impact on a couple of the games that we won last year. And I don't think I've seen him bat better than he is right now. I think that one day form, albeit as an opener that we saw in this last series against India, was, is exactly the way that we want him to play for the Delhi Capitals. So David and, and Mitch arrived yesterday, obviously straight after the, the one day series win. Um, they didn't train yesterday. They were, David will probably have the day off tomorrow uh, just to freshen right up. He's got a fair bit of thinking to do around the captaincy of this team. And um, we're going to sit down this afternoon and, and work through all, all the logistics of the impact player and how that's going to work and how we're going to use it best. So, um, but to have those two guys there, you know, we've got some other great internationals as well. Yeah, you know, will join soon. Uh, Phil Salt, Riley Russo will join soon, and Gidi and, and Mustafiza will Mustafiza will hopefully be here for our first game. So, um, yeah, all's coming together quite well. To the Delhi Capital side, I look. I think um, Saurav was with the team. I think back in 2019, maybe um, we had a lot of success then. I've I've always enjoyed working with Saurav. I, I've always enjoyed playing against him. Obviously, we we played a lot against each other. We captained a lot against each other. We've got really similar thoughts on the game as well, which which is obviously a great thing. And to have someone of his his stature and his knowledge of the game um, back around the Delhi Capitals can only be a good thing for us. So you know we've got a we've got a particularly good coaching group together, and, and we're sort of there as sort of that mentor as well. Um, you know he's very hands on. He's at, he's at training every day. Um, so already over the last four days, it's been great to have him back, and hopefully we can sort of uh, have the same sort of success and win as many games as we did in 2019.